Hi everyone. So have you be ever been in LogSeq and wondered, what did I do this day last year, the year before that, or a few years ago? And then would have had to either open a calendar plugin, find the date you were interested in, click on that and read the note, or use the date picker. Well, in this video, I will show you with a simple query and a few clicks here and there that what we can achieve is something like is shown on the screen, where you have and on this day, and whatever happened on today's date in the past. So to get started, what we'll do is we'll just do a new page, and we'll call it on this day. And in here, we'll just paste a query, and I'll put the um, put this query in the description below. I do not understand it. I will not pretend to understand it but it seems to work. So once I paste this in, you can change the title, you can change a few things, such as the breadcrumbs show or the collapsed by default true false. And if we click out of it, there we have it. So on the 28th, this is what happened of last year, the year before, and the year before that. It doesn't show today's date on the basis that today's date is just at the journals page. So I think that's quite, that's quite good. So what we'll do is we'll navigate back to this page and then we'll right click the title, add to favorites, collapse that so that now whenever I want in the future days, I can just click on this day and there we have it. I will be shown what happened on this date in the past. And just to show you, so what we have is 22, 21, 20. Now, if, for example, I had a journal date, a journal entry for the 28th of January 2019, let's just see that. I'll just create one as an example. Okay, and now if I go back to the on this date, we have 22, 21, 2020, and 2019. So it adds them in. So in the future, any calendar dates will just be added at the top. Now, of course, you can have this on the actual journal page or this query on the journal page. Uh, the only thing that it will do is that it will always default to today's date. So that's on the 28th, and then you can collapse it. If you like it this way, you can have it. But if then I go on the 27th, for example, it will always default to, in this case, today's date. There is a way that you can change this somehow in here, I'm sure, but I, I don't know how. And what I find a lot simpler is just to have the query on a separate page so that it doesn't take up space in today's journal. It's, uh, it, it's hidden if I want it, it's out of sight, but if I want to click on it, I can simply click on it and just be reminded of what I did on this date. Now, this was with the default um, a date format. What we can do is, for example, if we change it to something, for example, like this, uh, that. And we just have to re-index. So there we have it. It's changed the format. And it will automatically change the format on the historical date so the query still runs just fine. I've not tested it on every single date format, but it seems to work on the few that I tested. So hopefully you find this useful. And thanks very much for watching.